Uh, starting early today, um, just doing a bit of editing before we go out. Um, I was going to go to the market today, but then I realised that we've got to go to the gym earlier today. Uh, I want to get a session in before we go to the yoga, so S is coming down to the to the gym with me. Uh, we're going to start at uh, 9, the yoga's at half 10, so we'll go down and do, I don't know how long the yoga's going to last, hopefully it's not more than an hour. I'm doing a leg session today, so that's probably going to kill me, you know. Um, but it's one of those things. Um, really looking forward to the yoga, looking forward to going into the gym. And um, yeah, I feel loads better than yesterday. I just felt a bit a bit down yesterday. It was it was just a weird, one of those weird days, I suppose, at the end of the day as well. Um, and it was raining and it was cold and um, I just had to do a lot of, um, I was doing my accounts yesterday as well, which wasn't, uh, isn't the nicest thing to do, you know. Um, I was training years ago to become an accountant and I stopped a because I couldn't stand the, the the just being in an office all the time, the office politics and all that bollocks, you know. Uh, and B, it just wasn't my kind of a thing, you know. Um, I'd done a course because uh, I really wanted something to do in bookkeeping, and um, pushed me into getting a job. And I got a job in a, in a, a solicitor's office, a lawyer's office, where we were doing the accounts on this really old machine. Um, but yeah, so that wasn't what wasn't for what I wanted to do with my life, you know. Um, I really liked working outdoors. Uh, now I like working indoors, you know. It's it's uh, <laughs> I think when you get older, it's a bit better, you know, for the for the system and stuff. But um, the osteopath tells me I've got to work more with my hands and stuff like that physically rather than sitting down. So hence the gym and the 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 um, the yoga and all that kind of stuff. Um, to be honest, I can't wait for this thing to be finished just for the sake. I, I want to do more of these videos. I like doing these videos, but I feel boring at the moment because it's one of those things where I'm trying to avoid. Um, I mean, I can't go out to eat. You know, I'm avoiding my sisters because, you know, when we go down there, a lot of that involves food and sitting around the table together. And I love all that. But I mean, me sitting there with the juice, there's no point in doing it. So. I've been avoiding doing that, like I say, avoiding going out to the restaurants, avoiding takeaways, avoiding really going out much. I mean, we we went for a few a few walks. I think we're going to go out walking tomorrow with the dogs to take the pups down to the beach for the first time. Looking forward to that. Um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow's Sunday. Yeah, so you know, but I want we want I want to do more. You know, it, it's just I feel. It's one of those things that I always tell people at the beginning when you're trying to change anything, you know, if you're trying to get rid of something out of your life, one of the best ways of doing that, of overcoming all the cravings and, um, you know, getting yourself into the right mindset is to try and avoid those things in the first, you know, uh, few weeks. So if you're doing something long term, avoid it for the first month at least. Um, then you can gradually integrate yourself back into whatever you're doing. So if you're quitting drinking, you avoid people who are drinking at all costs. If you're trying to quit smoking, you avoid people who are smoking. I mean, the smoking thing is a lot easier these days because, you know, a lot of smokers are banned from smoking in public places. So they have to go out into the street, they have to go out into back alleyways and all that kind of stuff to do to, to smoke. So you don't have to, it's not in front of you anymore, you know. Um, all those times that I was trying to, quit smoking I remember you know going into a bars and people were smoking in bars they were smoking in restaurants in uh, banks in you know all over the place people used to smoke so you couldn't avoid it nowadays you can um, and advertising for cigarettes is pretty it's not as as, as widespread as it used to be um, but alcohol on the other hand you see alcohol everywhere you know and um, it, it's a bit more difficult to avoid that kind of thing you know so um, so yeah, avoid, uh, avoiding something, avoiding these places that are going to give you the 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 uh, temptation. That's the best way of, of doing things. So, you know, really, that's what I've been doing. Um, you know, for my own sake as well as for other people. I mean, if I'm sitting down with my family, they don't want to see me just sitting there with a the juice while they're tucking into their food and stuff. It makes them sort of uncomfortable as well. So, um, that's another reason why I don't want to do it. So anyway, after this. Uh, get back into normal routine of life and get out and do more things. You know, I'm looking forward to that as well. So, I uh, haven't had my first juice yet. I'm just on um, a cup of tea here to hydrate myself. It's this one. It is a, it's the apple um, and cinnamon. It's very nice. It's my second cup of tea. Um, 
And yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit for the first juice. Um, first juice of the morning. I'm gonna have uh, some melon, a couple of pears, three apples, and some pineapple, and some of this asalgas. Uh, normally I don't put that in, in the morning, but uh, this morning I'm gonna put it in because we're going into the gym soon, and um, I want some add some protein powder as well. So stick a bit of that in for the iron. All right, next juice is going to be four of these oranges that have peeled down, uh, four of these apples, uh, one's just a normal size apple and three of them are these small little ones. I've got a lot of spinach here and one piece of bok choy that didn't go in earlier on. Just back from the gym, I uh, had a really, really good session in there. Um, here's the juice that I just made, there's a lot of fruit in there, there's some apples and uh, as you saw below, there's four oranges, four apples, and a bit of spinach, but I just feel like I need the energy at the moment, so that's what I'm doing. And the yin yoga was absolutely lovely. I really enjoyed it. Very slow yoga, um, not too many poses because you're only doing the pose for between three and five minutes long. And it's just a very calm, easy uh, way of stretching your body out. And after the leg, um, workout which normally kills my legs i thought it was going to be difficult um, but it wasn't uh, the hour and a half that we've been there went really quickly so yeah i'll do it again um i was going to talk about how much juice should you drink how many juices per day you should drink and i think it depends on yourself you know and what your ultimate aim is what your goals are you know if you want to lose weight you drink less juices or drink juices which have got more uh, vegetables in them I find because I'm going to the gym as well I need the extra energy that fruit gives me um, so even though I'm having trying to make the last two juices of the day the mean greens so they've still got two apples in them but everything else is uh, vegetables um, I'm tending to start off the first part of my day to give me a lot of energy the fruit and it's you know it's working it's a lovely day today so um, I'm gonna head back inside in a minute but you, you know if, if you're um, if you're um, if you're wanting to do the juicing and you're wondering how many juices to do I'd say between two and three liters and again depending on what you want to to get out of it you decide how many uh, how much fruit and how much vegetables you're gonna put into it you know I mean if I was hungry if I was really hungry and I wanted to have an extra one, if I wanted to have three and a half litres that day, then I would, because other days I'm only going up to two litres. So, you know, you can you sort of mix and match depending on, on uh, how you feel during the day. And I think that's the most important thing is to listen to yourself, listen to how your body, what your body is telling you, you know. Um, I think if you go by that, then you can't go too far wrong because it will cure any... Uh, cravings that you have for food you know you you drink this and it will cure your hunger cravings you know as soon as it hits your belly you know it might not for the first couple of days you have to get used to it but after that then your your stomach as soon as it feels the the, the, the juice coming in the cravings will go away it's the same you know if you're hungry and you drink water the, the cravings will go for a little bit they'll come back you know maybe a few minutes later but, um, so I'll speak to you later for the next juice Last juice of the night. This is a mean green as normal. Um, I had two of these when I was going out earlier on. We went down to see the match and uh, had a really good result, 5-1. Uh, so back now, final juice and heading into the um, third last day tomorrow. So three more days to go. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Bye.